Hello, my name is Devin with Bamboo Solutions. Today we're going to use the Bamboo List Rollup web part to roll three standard out-of-the-box SharePoint task lists, Team A, B, and C tasks, into a single list rollup. So our first step, since we already have the web part deployed to the page, is going to be to go ahead and collect or select, excuse me, new schema. <clears throat> so once we click new schema, we're going to be presented with a series of questions that are going to help us define the types of lists the individual lists and the content on the list that we want to actually display in our list rollup. The first question it's going to ask us is to select an aggregation service. When I click on select aggregation service I'm presented with two options, the SharePoint aggregation service and the Bamboo aggregation service. The SharePoint aggregation service will allow you to roll up a series of lists of the same type. Uh, for example today we're doing all task lists um, and since all of those lists are the same list type we're going to go ahead and use the SharePoint aggregation service. Now the Bamboo Aggregation Service will allow you to roll up lists and libraries of different types into a single list rollup. And this can be useful if you want to combine, say, a task list and a contact list, um, or two different list types, or a list and a library um, into a list rollup. This would be the service that you'd use. But for today's purposes, we're going to go ahead and select the SharePoint Aggregation Service. Click Save. The next question it's going to ask us is to configure a discovery mode. And here we'll be presented with three options. Select individual lists, which we'll be using today automatically find lists in subsites, and automatically find lists in a site collection. So we don't necessarily want to include all lists in a subsite or all lists in a site collection in our list rollup in this particular case, so we're going to go ahead and select individual lists as our option. And click Save. So now that we've selected the... <coughs> oops. So now that we've selected the discovery mode, we're going to go ahead and actually select the lists to include in the rollup. So I'm going to go ahead and add my URL for the site on which all of the lists that I want to include in today's example are contained. I'm going to click Load Lists. And now I'll be able to see Team A, B, and C tasks in my dropdown under the, under the Select a List option. I'm going to start with Team A Tasks. Click Save. Include List and Rollup. Now when I come back to this same screen for select a list, you're going to notice that I'm limited to tasks A or team A, B, and C tasks. And the reason why is because I selected the SharePoint aggregation service, and I already selected that initial team uh, A tasks list, which is a tasks type list. So because of that, basically it's going to limit us to the different um, task lists that exist within that particular URL. So the next one I'm going to select is team B tasks. Save. Include list and rollup. And finally, Team C tasks. Save. Include list and rollup. <clears throat> so now that I've selected the lists that I want to have represented in my list rollup, I'm going to go ahead and select the columns of information that I actually want to have displayed in the rollup. So click Select Columns. Today we're going to go ahead and select Task Name, Percent Complete, Due Date. and finally start date. And now we're going to go ahead and click Save. So beyond filtering the information in individual lists in a list rollup by column type, we can also uh, define other filters for them as well. So when I click Define a filter, <coughs> I have the option of selecting all items, which we're going to do in this case just because of the simplicity of the list, or to select some items. So if I'm going to select some items, I can actually write out a camel script criteria directly in the box, or I can use the query builder below to help me actually generate uh, the expressions that I'll want to use to, uh, to filter my data. So here these options are, are already available to you, um, and you can pre-populate them, copy the criteria directly into the camel box, and actually have that information populated for you without necessarily having to know the camel script. So this gives you another option to filter items out of the lists that are represented in your list rollup uh, should you need them. But like I said, for today's purposes, we're going to go ahead and select all items. Now for using different discovery modes and we're including all the lists and libraries within a single site or site collection, there might be individual lists that exist within that site or site collection that we want to exclude. So here we have the option of putting in the URLs for those lists that we want to exclude from our list rollup. In this case, it's not really a relevant option, but it's there if you, uh, if you ever need it. And finally, schema settings. So this is just basic contextual information about the schema itself. In this case, we're going to call it consolidated tasks. And no description beyond that is really, really necessary for this particular example. And now we're going to click Preview Rollup. 
So here we have our first list rollup. Um, here I get the option to make sure that this is representing the way I want. In this case it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click close and then create slash update schema. And now that the schema has been created, um, I can go ahead and find it anytime I need to in my, uh, in my list rollup queue and click for later use. This has been the Bamboo List Rollup web part. Uh, once again, we've taken three task lists and consolidated them into a single list rollup. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.